Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, you can tell by the title, it is a DIY coffee table video. And I am here with Rachel, she is over at my place. Hi, Ooh. I was playing with Flynn, I missed him. <laughs> yeah, she house sat for me for an entire week and just took care of Flynn, it was super, super nice. But Rachel's also gonna be doing this DIY separate on her channel, so do check it out. We're gonna be making the same thing and trying to figure it out as we go. So check her out, link in the description box and down below. But we are going to start this. I am super excited. It was really, really cheap. So essentially, I always wanted to make that kind of marble-ish looking coffee table, but everywhere online wants them for crazy expensive. And I was talking to Rachel about it and she said, the cheapest she ever saw for it was like at least a grand and I'm like no no I'd rather just figure it out and DIY it myself I'll insert an image of the inspo here of course it's not gonna look exact because we're doing it the absolute cheapest way we went to Home Depot yesterday picked out our tiles got wood cut for us which took so long trying to figure out the measurements oh my gosh I'll insert everything logistic wise here on the screen for you guys but we are going to enjoy ourselves, have a glass of wine, have some snacks, and then hop right into it. Rachel and I are just in Home Depot, and I've been wanting to come here to make a DIY like pedestal co miniature coffee table type thing for product photos and just overall aesthetic photos. But with lockdown, I haven't been able to for eight months. So we're finally doing it now, and we found these stunning tiles that are gonna be really, really fun for it. Look at those. The camera's not doing it justice, but it's so pretty. Actually, this is really pretty too, but I don't want that color. Yeah, no, I don't. it's a little too grayish, yeah, but these are like, like a gray. nice beige. The camera's probably not really, the it's, not it doesn't do it justice whatsoever. We're talking like a beautiful, warm, yellowy, with well, yellow, depth to it as well. So essentially we're gonna get these and then some wood to go under it and plaster and nails and that's pretty much gonna be it. Do you have a hammer at your place or no? Yeah, I do. Okay, me too. I put, like with Ikea, you can put your phone number in and it'll tell you when it's actually stopped. Oh, really? Yeah, which is great. But then it expires after 45 days. I think it's right behind us, the plaster. So if it doesn't come back and stop. I think this is plaster, like it would make sense. Yeah, because they got the plaster sticks and everything. Underneath? I think no, it goes it underneath me. Yeah. You would need like one of these things. Oh yeah, and then what do you put it? You drag the grooves through it. And oh it yeah, the, for the grout? Yeah. Pile with you, so. Well, I'll grab this anyway. So it's like four dollars. Yeah. Don't you love the box? Isn't it just excellent? <laughs> 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 yes, it's designed to send you out of the store. Thank you so much. But, but how is the wood? Nice, yeah. black, yeah. newish, like a new oh, British? Get it here, right? Oh, so it's going to be okay. Yeah. Alright, we got to go to the next aisle. Okay. Next aisle? Thank you. <laughs> I'll just move the merchandise here. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just the most no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our cement for the wood that we're going to eventually buy and then we were just passing the spray paint. Wow, my camera really can't focus. There we go. We were just passing the spray paint section and I saw this. The camera is not picking it up, but essentially it's like a... I don't even know how you would explain it. Like a stone texture. Like a stone texture. It's not gonna focus. Not gonna focus. <laughs> Piece of shit. But um, I've been wanting to spray paint my coffee machine white for months, like since the whole pandemic. And I've, there's like nowhere in downtown Toronto to get spray paint that isn't for like arts and crafts. So when I passed this aisle and saw this, I got so excited because it's like so aesthetic. And the other day on AliExpress or Alibaba, I saw like these wood, these stone themed espresso machines, but they were like $600 and I'm like, spray paint it. Not that you scrapbook. Oh, this is gonna be such a fun DIY project. I'm spending way too much money today. Oh, that's so nice. I feel like these are the best ones that they, cause they were already like- All the neutrals? Yeah, they're already color-coded. 
Rachel and I ended up in the wood section and we we're having the biggest difficulty trying to calculate how much wood we actually need for making these miniature coffee tables. <laughs> And it's so confusing for us. We're trying to know how many of these wood panels we're gonna need and Essentially if the wood parts gonna be on the inside the inner parts gonna be negative the depth of The wood which is half an inch So then remove half an inch for each inner part like maybe we only need two wood panels We were originally thinking three. No, you're doing it right. Am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying because I was like if you would to join it so that the end of this one hits that one, and yeah. like, you know what I mean? And then it creates Because the tiles are on the outside, the wood's on the inside. So it's the length of one of these plus half an inch. Mm -hmm. Plus half of an inch? Ha yeah, because it's half but an it inch. Has to be, yeah, so which means if we want the tiles to fit flush, then we have to go half an inch less of this tile yeah. to get you what the plywood should be. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. 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 Because like looking at my drawing, it's going to be the tile, well, the length of the tile plus the side, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think we will only need two at most. So we believe we figured out the wood situation, so we're just getting it cut now. We figured out the wood situation finally, and we ended up going with a big, big sheet because it would have costed like way less. Yeah, like I think it was like maybe... 15, 12 dollars less or something. I was yeah. like, oh, it's a decent amount. So it makes sense. Uh, we're getting it cut now and hopefully everything works out. And then who knows when we'll actually DIY this. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. on the weekend. I don't know I how mean, many at plans. least the weather's rainy. So yeah. like perfect DIY weather. All right, all this section of the DIY vlog is going to be a voiceover because I did this on my balcony with Rachel and my balcony is so loud. Like it's windy, there's construction, it's loud, but at least the views are amazing. We can appreciate this, right? <laughs> anyway, these are all our tools that we're going to be using using for the DIY as I listed them previously, but we have our wood ready. We have our four parts that are the 9.5 inches by, what was it, 10? No. Anyway, we have those four parts to make the base of the coffee table, which is going to be a square. Then here we have one inch nails, which I soon later regretted using nails. I don't recommend using nails, use screws instead, but again, you still will need the screws to be one inch in length. Then we have this, I don't know, what do you call this, a trap? trellis no a grouter i'm not too sure for spreading this cement for tiles that is multi-purpose that can be used on all textures this is what the person at the store recommended so if this is wrong in anyone's opinion it is what the guy recommended for us to use and then he also recommended that we used clear silicone to seal the top part of the table when we were done to prevent any water from getting in because if water does get in it will ruin the table we also bought varnish which i didn't show in the video as I have to do it at a later step to seal all the wood edges from again getting water in it because it will ruin the table then we have a hammer a pen for marking a measuring tape and then of course our tiles so if you are planning to do this DIY the measurements might vary for your wood based on the tiles that you plan to use these tiles match the measurements of our wood as we got the tiles first then measured the wood and cut the wood to match them I love these tiles I think they're great but it might be easy easier to make a coffee table if your tiles are squares ours are rectangles so it didn't make it a little more challenging to figure out measurements in my opinion otherwise here we are just making the base of the coffee table just in a square shape using nails to nail it in again nails were a bad choice you can see right here oh my god it was splitting splitting the particle board which was really really frustrating but whatever it's not like i'm trying to sell this it's just for me and if it really did bother me in the future or fall apart i can just redo with screws as this diy is super simple but here you can see we are so excited and proud that we made a box <laughs> it's so funny because rachel and i both did wood shop in high school so we both have basic knowledge Whoa, are you kidding me? and it's not teetery And it's like a good height. It looks so cool. 
but yeah so we put the top of the coffee table on just to see get an idea and we are so excited about it now we're just finding the absolute center of the top of the coffee table and marking it off so that we can make sure that we place the base and attach the base at the correct center point of the coffee table because if the if the base is off balance your coffee table is going to tip over right so measuring out the absolute center by measuring the final center in the measuring tape of the width and the length and making a cross where they all join and meet in the middle then after that we were measuring from the center outwards to make sure that the box aligns perfectly so once we found those measurements from measuring out then we marked it off and, and um, how would I even explain this so we traced around the box uh, really not too hard to do this part but you have to do it on both the inside or the underside of the coffee table top and then also on the top part so that when you hammer the nails or screw your screws in from the top you actually hit into the one inch or half inch base of the thing so you can see we marked both sides of the top and underside of the table and now we're going ahead and hammering in and making sure that they align perfectly into that base this part wasn't hard at all like honestly i don't think there was any part of this diy that was hard other than finding the measurements for cutting the wood i think that was the most challenging part of this entire diy was just doing the math I suck at math. We both are not very good at math and it would have been helpful to have someone who was good at math or confident at least in math. But here again, you can see we're so excited that we successfully nailed it in and we're able to literally create a table in such little time. And you can see the measurements are pretty good and everything is center and aligned nicely. So now we're grabbing our tiles and getting those ready to cement them right on to the coffee table. Using the cement here, I just have a plastic spoon. You can get like proper scrapers for scooping out this product but I just had a plastic spoon in my cupboard so I went ahead and used that to get the product onto the board and we're starting with the base of the table first so that when we flip it it's just it's just easier this way to start with the base so you don't have to get any weird angles for placing your tiles on then using this grouter I'm just gonna call it a grouter I'm sorry if it's wrong and it's making anyone cringe I'm just evening out the application and then using the part that gives lines so it has texture for more grip and then right after that you just go ahead and press your tiles on firmly and make sure they're evenly pressed and secured there it sticks really really well like they didn't slide down or anything it was super super grippy and really quick and easy to do and then we just kind of went ahead and repeated the set for all the sides of the base making sure those lines are in there as it does make it grip a lot better if you have those lines and going ahead and repeating the process with the tiles all around the edges and it already looks so good like look how shiny those tiles are isn't that nice now you can see I think our measurements were a bit off for what we had planned for the base because we had intended that the tiles would uh, align but you can see there's a bit of a gap in between I don't really know what I'm doing but it looks great nonetheless and then doing the exact same for the top and for the top part I didn't want any gaps between my tiles so they're pressing tightly against each other so I didn't use any grouting for in between the tiles as I wanted the clear silicone for that but like look how shiny it is oh my god I love it so here yeah you can see that there is no gaps between the tiles they are pressed right up against each other and it's just looking looking so great you can see there is a little extra lip on the wood right at this part which we are going to go ahead and use my hand saw that I already owned to just trim the edges where there was a little bit of an overlap where the wood was poking out from the tile it really was barely anything I don't even know maybe it was a few millimeters not a big issue then using this sandpaper that I conveniently had I'm going to assume sand and soften the edges so that if say for example somebody bumps into it they don't hurt themselves then using this spray paint that I conveniently bought you don't have to do this step but I wanted to I'm just gonna go ahead and paint on the gaps for the lower part you can see mr. Flynn came in and then going ahead and adding that clear silicone along the edges on the top of the table to seal it and make it water resistant and waterproof this part's really fun and easy with silicone you can just go ahead and use your finger to press in the silicone between the cracks and wipe off the excess until it dries and then you can scrape off the excess as well if you'd like then Rachel went ahead and 
filled the gaps between the wood and the tiles on the top for me. Now this all has to dry but we were excited and wanted to see how it would look in my living room and it's so cute. I love it. So this has to dry before we can use any varnish. So once it dries you just go ahead and use the varnish on the wood exposed wood parts not on the top at all and then the silicone already dried pretty quickly so I'm just scraping it off with a razor. Okay so we are finally finished our DIY. It total probably took us maximum three hours to do this DIY but it was so quick like and the only reason it took three hours is because as you guys saw we had to like hand saw some of the edges because our measurements when we were requesting the sizing to be cut at Home Depot were a little bit off. Uh, so we had to just trim those edges down, which was a lot of work for a handsaw. Like we were able to do it ourselves, no problem, but it just took a little bit of time. But like, I'm so impressed, I'm so happy that I finally was able to do this DIY after nine months of waiting because we were in lockdown for eight months here in Ontario. I was finally able to go to a Home Depot store, store go in in person, check it out and find absolutely everything that I liked and think about it for myself. So yeah, <laughs> I, just, I just, my mind is blown. I am obsessed with it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Like this was so much fun and it was such a fun girls day project. Like, so if you have a friend that's down to do this DIY, you don't have to do it yourself. It makes for a fun event. It's super easy to accomplish. All the products that need to be purchased are really affordable and you get a stunning on-trend table out of it. So if you guys enjoyed this DIY video, please thumbs it up. Please share it with anyone who you think would be interested in doing this DIY with you or anyone who would love doing this DIY by themselves. Do share it with them. Let them know that it is super easy to achieve or for yourself it's super easy it's too cheap comment down below if you've ever done a DIY coffee table before or if you haven't would this be something that you're interested in doing I would love to hear your thoughts otherwise of course make sure to subscribe or else YouTube will not be so kind to recommend any of my future videos to you guys if you're seeing this video it means you're the lucky 3% of people that YouTube does recommend my videos to so do make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on so you get those notifications to your phone that are non aggressive just little tiny pop-ups in your notification section showing you what video I upload so you can stay up to date and know what's going on. I upload every single week. Lifestyle videos, DIY stuff, skincare stuff, just complete literally lifestyle my entire life. So definitely do that. Check me out on Instagram. I'm uploading every single day. There's stories, photos, reels, everything. I'm also on TikTok with the same username. I'm on every... I'm, I'm literally on every social media platform, so do check that out, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!